Hello there, I'm Boo, or Jamie, and I like drawing, maximizing my hours in all the Pokemon games to find shinies, and I like to complain about lore in World of Warcraft. This is a very weird bug, is this also happening to some other people? Because, um, no, that's not what my level 36 shaman is looking like right now. I'm not even wearing a shield. Hello, 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 and welcome back to a new episode on the channel. Today we're starting by bringing down a ram mob that literally just spawned as I was logging in. So, you know, fair game. You know, it just feels good, again, to kill ram mobs because they just give you currency, they give you equipment, they give you stuff. Oh yeah! Look at these upgrades for our cloak. <laughs> Yet you're too late, Mogul Claw of Eternus. Gotta get up earlier than that, I suppose. Well, here we are. We are back in the remix and we have just entered the Valley of the Four Winds and are now going to travel with Chen and his niece, I think, Lily, if I remember that correctly. Well, we're mostly going to stop every chance we get and do stuff for other people because that's just how Chen is. Mary to the dismay of his knees but I absolutely understand it if people would offer me shelter and in turn I would just have to fix a few of the problems I would also do that I'm very happy that the last video was received so positively I mean you better <laughs> for me finally doing the remix gotta say like I said oh Wait, we don't have to kick them yet, huh? Yeah, because we have to kick these uh, these little critters out of the property at some point. Um, but not yet. <clears throat> yeah, really happy to read all of you guys being so happy about me doing the remix and just tagging along and having fun. Like I said, I also have more fun than I anticipated. And I hope it stays this way. Because, let's be honest, I'm also happy if there is something... Let's, let's be nice and call it current content in WoW that I am also enjoying for a change because this hasn't happened since, um, oh yeah, Shadowlands. <laughs> yeah, sadly, someone already spoiled me in the comments or rather, well, told me the sad, sad truth that we don't have a farm in the Valley of the Four Winds in this mode. I mean, it makes sense since there is no cooking and no other profession around, you know, parts of the farm would just be useless. I mean, also you could just use the farm to grow bronze and different parts of transmog, wouldn't that be fun? But uh, I guess they uh, they they didn't want to put in all that work for that, I guess. Um, but that made me very sad when I read that. I still can't really believe it, but um, now you know what? I can believe it since they also just remove professions from this mode, apart from fishing. I know that there is fishing. I was already in the Kresarang wilds and did a few dailies for the anglers. Yay, there's fishing, which is cool because I like fishing, but... Um, yeah, I, I don't think I will forgive them for removing professions from this mode. Especially because we're going to be stuck in here for so long. And you know, when I'm bored in the normal game, I, apart from doing old content, I love to do just professions, as you know. And, well, I can't do either in this mode, so... Mm. But that also means that there won't be the tillers as a fraction in the remix, which is crazy because the tillers and the farm are a big part of Pandaria. To me, like one of the core things, honestly, like when I think of Mist of Pandaria, I think of, well, my farm and I still like to visit my farm every now and then and on the... <laughs> and on the channel we also build up our farm i think yeah completely right we quested it through yeah we did that with melrick with the hunter melrick so well if you want to see why i'm upset then i guess uh, you know look no further than a video from two months ago or something <laughs> oh wait what else do we oh we have to wait plump marmot moved how do we move them? Do we just kick them? Oh, yeah, and I accidentally killed them. Ha -ha -ha. Well, let's do some Mormon cook. Mormon? Marmon. Marmon kicking, not Mormon. <laughs> that's that's something entirely different. Alrighty, and on we go. Taking a crop. Stolen turnips and stolen watermelons. <laughs> uh, I love these little fuckers. These little, um, uh, what, what are they called? Vermins? Just like that, I think. <laughs> they stole all the turnips and they don't like them because they're turnips. I like turnips. I think they're neat, but uh, I can also understand that, you know, they simply upset you. Especially if you can have watermelons. That I get. Watermelons are much better. 
Well, let's just say they also didn't eat the watermelons, huh? Why, what's wrong with them? Oh, they don't know that you have to open them to get to the good stuff. All right, no, no judging here. All right, what do we have to... Oh, yeah, now we have to launch the stuff. Wait, where is... Ah, there, Miss Fanny. All right, Miss Fanny, come here. Oh, and we have to bring her the stuff, no? Extra spicy tofu. Oh, that sounds, that sounds delicious. Um, hit it as hard as possible. I think that's a good idea for a big cauldron. Some watermelons. I think those you should hit very, very softly, Miss Fanny. Bonk. And now some giant pink turnips. Good bonk. The average power. Do it with the average power. Boink. Hello. I hope you got all of our stuff in one piece. And also, oh yeah, we can skill. Oh, we can skill a bit more than I anticipated. Let's first go for nature's guardian. Sure, sure. And also, what do we have here? Oh, we have so much here. Yeah, let's, let's just skill down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, now let's get back all the piggies. And I think these grummels just lead us up to the Tong Long Steps. No, wait, not the Tong Long Steps. The Kun Lai Summit, exactly. But we don't want to go there yet. We want to stay here. Because obviously I will just quest through the entirety of Pandaria. I don't know if I will do it all within the videos. Because that usually takes a very, very, very long time. But I will definitely take you along for a big chunk of the travel. Ah, and there's the world boss active. I don't know, do these world boss and these raids, do they have weekly lockouts or daily lockouts? Because I'm unsure. I could, yeah, I could just, I could just queue up again for them, huh? Crazy. Oh, damn, will we make it before he dies? I don't think so. Nah, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, people are very overpowered in this mode. That's something that I think is so strange. Blizzard has been nerfing and nerfing and nerfing all the farm spots that people use to get like, you know, very high item level on their cloaks. Because like I said, every time you kill an enemy, you have a chance to get like upgrades and stuff. And Blizzard is just nerfing them. Every time they show, like every time someone finds a new farm spot, they immediately nerf it into oblivion and I'm just this is another one of these times where Blizzard is just not satisfied with the way that we play the game because yeah you're supposed to play their game but their way not your way and I always found that so funny about Blizzard like gosh darn it especially in this mode like you don't have to balance anything okay it doesn't really matter this mode is just there for fun and just be glad that people are not really realizing how poorly set together this mode is in parts because it really is and just be glad that people only want to you know have fun with it and speed level and do crazy numbers and have cool abilities that they don't have in a normal game or you can be a little fun sucker and just remove the ability from people to get to the fun fun part very quickly all right wait this is just sending us to all the yeah first we first we're gonna do the campaign how's it called now i mean yeah appreciate it that they show you which are the campaign quests and which are just all the side quests that you can also do but uh, i i gotta say i wasn't that happy to see these um rectangle quests return because i really don't um i don't care much for them they always give me a strange feeling but probably just because i associate them first and foremost with shadowlands but yeah i was already talking about how i'm sad that the farm is not in it simply for the farm reason but also the tillers because if you don't know the farm in Pandaria usually not only comes with one fraction but also with a lot of different people that you can become best friends with like it is the case with many let's say games like Stardew Valley and Animal Crossing that are all about stuff like that and obviously that's also not possible then in the boat I suppose I mean I haven't seen it yet but uh, now I've heard about it and it makes me very sad but I guess we'll just do that once this character is free of this mode, which again is in a couple of months. Three to be exact, which is still making me sad. All right, and I won't shut up about this. But what I'm not annoyed by is the way that my Enhancer Shaman already looks with everything just being lightning and thunder. So there you go. I don't know, my positive comment on the remix that shows up every now and then. I mean, to be fair, the shaman also looks amazing in the normal retail game. So this is not really a good on you Pandaria remix, but um, we'll, we'll, 
I bet, I bet we'll get there. Something that I really appreciate about this mode, by the way, is also the fact that gearing is fun. I know I said that before, but I, I really want to say it again because I noticed that many people just assume that I'm very negative about this mode in general, which is uh, really not the case. I love needing to equip my character again. I mean, we're almost a bit too powerful <laughs> already, but hey, whatever. But I just like the process of equipping. It's it's fun. It's a core mechanic of World of Warcraft that I wish they would have realized they should return to retail as well during the leveling process. But um, we shall see. All right. Now we, ah, uh, uh, yeah, we escort them over there. So we're going to walk a little bit with these two cuties. What I, however, do not understand and like much is that my cloak is already giving me 57% experience gain now i know people are like yeah but you can level really fast in this mode and like yeah you can already do that in retail like leveling is super fast you can definitely level up a character during one day from 1 to 70 if you put your mind to it and yeah this might be even faster but uh, leveling has been a joke for many many years now so uh Nope, sorry, your argument is invalid. Oh, there's a ram up, but I have to stay with these cuties. Mm -hmm. Gosh darn it. We'll see this ram up again, trust. Yeah, I wish I could just disable the experience gain because since I've started recording, we already gained almost three levels and I didn't do that many quests. So I can only imagine that probably before I finished this whole questing zone, I'm already 70. And I know or I hope that the quests just stay on your level and it just stays fun to do them and it stays rewarding because you get bronze and gear and stuff like that. I wouldn't mind just gaining levels and taking it a bit slow, but of course not. Well, joke's on you, Galleon, then I'll just wait here until you spawn again, which is gonna be in, uh, oh, in five minutes. I could probably also just look into the tool if there is a group that has the boss up. But for now, I'm just gonna stay here because <laughs> we, we have a few chests to open and probably new gear to put on. So uh, let's quickly do that. Yeah, you're exchanging your gear so fast. So, you know, I know some people are not even bothering to like transmog at all, but um, I love my transmogging, all right? You better believe that I'm transmogging everything that I can get my hands on. Bow, bow. And now, yeah, like I already said in my last video, this is from Narcissus. Narcissus is a really cool add-on in general. Like it helps you with transmog, it helps you with screenshots. And I initially got this because back in the day when we had domination, sockets you guys remember those well back in the day when we had those this add-on was a godsend because it was so much easier to socket them and to decide like which ones to use and stuff like that and now they also made a mode for this one which is amazing because as you can see i can just pick out which powers i want and the add-on is gonna socket it for me they're also going to do that for the prismatic sockets i don't know if they will just always choose the highest stone that i have available let's quickly try that out yep they do exactly that okay cool now we're almost all said I have to transmog again and also uh, use my enchantments again and then oh and then we can scrap I, I was not kidding by the way I really like the scrapping process I loved it in BFA and I love that it's back here and I hope that it's like a a little yeah we're gonna have this in the real game as well soon enough trust and then Galleon should be up in just a second there he is oh and someone already attacked him. All right, let's go, guys. I'm going to do this locust of power, even though I'm pretty sure that we don't need it at all. But whatever. And I'm very excited to see if these guys have daily lockouts. Oh, yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah, they absolutely do. We got a new hat, but I don't think we need it. Oh, oh yeah, it is better than the one I'm wearing. Well, then we have to put it on, obviously. And then transmog this hat as fast as possible because uh, this thing, not the prettiest. Well then, let's do some more questing, huh? Imagine I could pick up some flowers or skin the enemies. Ah, why not? Blizzard, just let me do my professions, please. Oh, hell yeah, picking flowers. That's nice. Oh, Pandaria. Yes, yes. 
An expansion, in my opinion, that unlike Dragonflight really excelled at balancing these intense topics of uh, insane warfare, mostly thanks to Garrosh Hellscream and the release of the Shah, and also picking flowers, doing farming, just, you know, taking life one day at a time. And I know that's probably what they wanted to do with Dragonflight, and if that worked for you, then I'm very happy, for you at least, because that's nice, but it definitely didn't work for me. And also, are these guys just not up because there are people killing them probably, right? Ah, yeah. Oh man, this spec, I mean, to be fair, this spec is already very much fun in retail because um, you also just attack stuff and then stuff in immediately dies because you just attack them too fast before they can even realize what has happened to them. But um, I think playing an enhancement shaman in this mode is even crazier, especially with a socket like this. Oh yeah, and also something, I think I already mentioned it in my last video, but I mean, you guys probably already know all of that because you've been playing this mode a lot more than I probably did so far. But yeah, you can just do the raids while you're leveling. Like not every raid is available. I noticed in the beginning only the Mugushan vaults were active. Now also the Heart of Fear is active and probably the higher I climb in levels, the more raids are available, which is amazing. Like I said, I wish they could just do this for the normal leveling in the normal game. And obviously you would have to combine the expansions in some way so you're not stuck in an endless queue because you're leveling through wrath but all the cool people are leveling through legion or whatever so you're just stuck in endless queues or there could be like a i don't know a time walking phase you know like their time walking events right now whatever i bet there could be a way to make it possible in the real game and it would be definitely very much appreciated and i hope that's exactly what's going to happen but um who knows but yeah again props to you blizzard this is amazing more of this, way more of this. Make the leveling process fun again and also include it as something that you want to do when you log into this game and not something that is a chore and is no fun. And also, oh yeah, we have to trick them, right? We have to trick them with the with the painted turnip. Oh no, that's so mean. Oh, that's also why it didn't count when I killed all of these guys. <clears throat> oh no. I I never like doing this quest. I think it's so mean. They get so excited because they think it's a carrot, but it's a bloody turnip. These guys don't deserve that. They're still wearing diapers. We're doing this to babies. Look at them, they're so happy. I feel so bad. I'm a bad, bad person. All right, now that we've tricked all the babies into getting excited about painted turnips and I feel absolutely horrible, let's get our rewards, I guess. And also, let's break the sound barrier because what we were definitely missing was flying speed. <laughs> and also, let's open a few more boxes and ooh, get another weapon. And I know that we've been running around with the same transmog for some time now, so I'll come up with a new look. Maybe, but maybe I would also just stick with this because this is amazing. I love this set and I love these weapons and I love my orc. She looks gorgeous, no notes. You know, I'm a bit sad that they didn't include hands for like these Corcron sets because I love them, but I definitely like sets without dresses or skirts better than the ones with. So I really like their approach lately that they just give you a dress and also a pair of pants with most sets. But this one doesn't have any. So, ooh, uh, well, let's first get interrupted so very rudely. Hello. And um, then I'll see what I can find to maybe dress us in the colors of the Corcron shamans. By the way, may I just nitpick again? I know I can because this is my channel. Why, if these belts are just completely new for the Shadow Pan set, why are they already clipping into my, um, well, my nether regions? Couldn't they do this a bit better and i don't even want to know if this looks better on humans because they once again designed something on humans that is not even for humans to begin with but um honestly could we just put this thing like in front of my crotch and not behind it because this looks a little bit weird and it's a little bit sad because this belt is really gorgeous and I would like to transmog it. And while we're on the topic of mogging, first of all, I think these pants and these shoes from I think the Hunter LFR set from the Heart of Fear fit 
really well with this Corcron Shaman set at least. The other tints, I'm still looking for an alternative to the skirt. But while we're still talking about transmog, I think it's so sad that these weapons, you see them while you're mogging or if you look at them in the dressing room. But as soon as I mock them, they just turn invisible and you only see them if you, you know, take them out. Because these are the offhands to the Doom Hammer the artifact weapon of the Enhancement Shaman from Legion. And look at them, they look so cool. And I know, I know, I know, they're like these created by the elements offhand. And it is also part of the lore and the reason behind them that you don't see them when you sheet the Doom Hammer because, well, there's only supposed to be the Doom Hammer. But whatever, this looks cool, okay? And if stuff looks cool, then I think you can, you can allow stuff that doesn't make sense lore-wise. <coughs> And honestly, while we're on the topic of the Doomhammer, I'm kind of thinking about just, well, sticking with my very simple set for now, simply because I don't feel like running around like a fully fledged raider right now, okay? I, I, I just want to stay in this in this level look. I think it's so pretty. And also, oh no, not the quest money order. Oh, I, I remember that this quest is simply annoying. I know that there are these pools that you have to gather with like this vial. I don't really remember how it works, but I remember that it was very annoying. Maybe it's not because I've water walking. Let's see. Oh yeah, you had to. Oh yeah, because I think every time that you move, yeah, every time you move, you're losing stuff again, right? Yeah, that's exactly how it works. Okay, so I think first of all, I have to wait until there are more pools again because everyone has just farmed them. Or maybe, no, here are some. Okay, I mean, he could also just given us a better vial, I guess, but um, yeah. Hmm. Do we have any? Anywhere? Not really, huh? I was kind of hoping that this would be enough, but do you think they're gonna respawn on us? Just gonna fish for a bit and see if they respawn. All right, I think it's safe to say that they do not respawn, or at least not in a timely manner. So I guess we're just gonna lose all of these 86% while I'm looking for more bottles. Ah, hold on tight. This is gonna hurt. Ay, ay, ay. All right, well. I guess I just have to look for better clusters, huh? All right, here are some. All right, and we didn't even lose that much. Maybe, maybe, baby. It's gonna be enough, huh? Oh, looks good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who said we're gonna lose all, huh? Did you? Did you? Did you not believe in me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, typical. Typical. All righty. Maybe we went on a little raid experience and also went into, in my humble opinion, the absolute worst Mist of Pandaria dungeon, Siege on the Near Zao Temple. That dungeon is just... Man, how, how did they make a dungeon where every single boss is annoying? I mean, the first one is okay, but... And now we have a lot of spools to unravel. So let's do that and get um, an absolutely overpowered cloak in the process. And also let's open all of these and this and that. We also got new gear that I now have to figure out which one is better. Gotta say, as much as I like all of this gear and I really don't mind re-socketing everything all the time but it does get a little bit annoying <laughs> doesn't it <laughs> after some time like I don't mind the remogging process but um yeah yeah oh yeah and also we can skill more yeah hey. Hey. Brother, brother where are you gone I are you still go. going I'm still going <gasps> I don't know if I die from this. No, I'm ending in water. Going down indeed. Okay, what he says? <laughs> of all of you that are interested in these things, if you get the toy that gives you... No, wait, it's not a toy. I think it's a one-time only use item or just a use item in general. It's somewhere in Hafel, if I remember correctly, or around these parts. You still keep that thing on if you turn yourself into a baby dragon. Well, um, you know... Taking off, you better be ready for this one. Flying through Pentaria with style. Alrighty guys, we're back. Ignore the fact that I've gained a few levels. So what? Maybe, maybe, maybe my fiance and I did a lot of dailies together and a few dungeons and a few raids. But let us not be stopped 
by that because I still have to do my daily normal dungeon of the day and I'm gonna take you with me. Wait, what is this? Oh, this is the quest where you become Chen and he tells you about his discoveries at the brewery. Yeah, we're not gonna do that right now because if we're in the middle of that and the queue pops, then um, we have to do that whole scenario all over again. But we still have some quests over here and earlier I flew over half hill and I already saw that they just put one of these timeless bazaars right smack in the middle where usually the market square for half hill is so I think it's safe to say that people are absolutely correct and uh, yeah there are no tillers and there is no farm this time which um, again what the hell right we need to kill a few more birdies and then we have to pick up more of these Ugh. oh no I hate clicking on small stuff oh I'm really bad at it Oh, I'm really bad at it. Go away. I'm busy with the glimmers. Oh, 18? No, I thought it was like 12 or something. Okay. Let me hone my clicking skills then. They're a bit uh, rusty. I think the last time I clicked in World of Warcraft was in uh, Wrath of the Lich King, which doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with clicking. A few of my friends are actually still clicking in this game and are very successful in it. So there's definitely a way to do that. I'm just more of a keyboard enjoyer and boom one quest done and almost half a level yeah i think this is thanks to the 89 percent experience gain that my cloak is giving me already for some reason and i haven't been in this dungeon for the channel in a long long time which is kind of funny because i remember the last time i was in here one of my group members uh, actually another hunter had a very horrible name for his pet and i had to censor that and that was the second episode i ever recorded for my channel and I was absolutely shocked when I realized that someone had just done that so yeah very fun times Earlier, my fiance and I were in a raid group once again and we had someone who had absolutely bonkers gear again and Remember when in the beginning of my last video I said that I understand that they didn't want to implement the old quest chain for the legendary cloak because that would mean that you would have to farm all the raids. Well, I didn't take into consideration that first of all, you're absolutely OP in this mode and nothing matters at all and bosses fall within like 20 seconds. I'm not even kidding. I think the fastest kill was Elegon and he was dead after 15 seconds, maybe, if not even less. And also, I think the raids have a daily logout, so it would be super easy to just do the legendary quest line because you wouldn't have to wait an entire week for the next quest to drop. Gives me less reason as to why we can't just have nice things. In this case, the old quest line. Wouldn't that be nice? Awkwardly waiting for our healer because he just didn't let us res him. Oh, yes. Scarlet Monastery. Very epic. All right. Did we get anything else? Oh, yeah. Wait, we got a few chests so let's check this one out yeah more wrists we don't really need them can i just be nitpicky again i think i can why are all of these cog wheels and the tinker slots and all of this why is that not in a like window like we had for the glyphs back in wrath why is it in my inventory? Because I would be so annoyed if I wouldn't have this add-on, Narcissus. I can just look through all my stuff here and just select what I want and the add-on just selects it for me. And also like everything is here and I can just select which ones I want, which is also very nice. Oh yeah, and we also changed our appearance a little bit. And also, I just backed a toad. Ah, is this another one? No, apparently not. Is that another one? No. Oh, I have to scoop the eggs. All right, all right. Maybe I should every now and then just, you know, read my quest objectives. How about it? Wow, there are so many snappers. They're really annoying. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, yeah. All of you come together. Come here. Yeah, yeah get killed by my <laughs> passive abilities. I swear to God, it's gonna be such a rude awakening once these characters get put into the real game because it's just gonna feel like absolute butt. You're gonna feel so powerless. But hey, that's a problem for uh, future me in three months, I suppose. Oh, what is happening? Maybe I should have read the quest text. Is this a vision? This looks like a vision, right? Ah. 
This is the veil. This is also something. They couldn't be asked to put the normal veil in here. The normal veil of eternal blossoms. Because if you didn't play Pandaria, maybe you don't know. But um, the veil of eternal blossoms didn't used to look like that. The veil was not corrupted by any Shah energy. That was Garrosh at the the start of the last patch of Pandaria with the beginning of Siege of Ogrimmar. And before that, it was a questing zone. I mean, it's still a questing zone. It's a daily hub, to be exact. But before that, it was a little bit different. It was all a little bit happier. And uh, the Vale of Eternal Blossoms is a sacred place to the Pandaren. Our war chief just kind of went and ruined it, as horde war chiefs are very prone to do with places uh, for some reason. Yeah, but they, they couldn't be asked to give us the old version that is not in the game anymore because for some reason they just don't do that they just put in you know cool stuff like wait where is it can we see it from here or do i have i think i have to change the zone for that but uh, yeah you can see argus in the sky like the little the little star that argus is now that it's not hanging in full-blown version like it used to during legion uh it's little things like that that i think are a little bit bad all righty maybe it's a little bit later than um, <clears throat> I anticipated. We've been doing a little bit of dailies and leveling again. And well, let's just say with the reputation gain that you're getting if you already got Pandaria fractions up once, because they give you a 100% reputation increase once you get revered with any reputation in Pandaria. And that also works in the remix, by the way. Yeah, you you you, you get these fractions up pretty, pretty quickly. And also, so, I mean, my cloak at this point gives me 145% experience gain. So, yeah, we're we're zooming through the levels. And right now we're helping Chen to create a brew so he can go back to his family in the brewery that kind of is shunning him, which is uh, not very nice. And now we're helping him to make the perfect beer. So everyone will be very impressed and feel very sorry for being so rude to him. Also... In case you're still wondering where we got this super cute hat, it's down here at the Imperial Granary. And you can just pick it up and yeah, it's a... Bleh, and you can also get stuck down here because there's just too many pixels in the way. And you can just use it every hour and it won't go away and it will give you a one hour buff and put a pretty hat on top of your head. This one goes away though as soon as you are in a fight and also as you can see I am super slowed down by that thing so uh, and also you're constantly dancing. There are not many upsides to this apart from obviously the fact that you have a big bowl of fruit on your head so uh Yay. Can't believe I'm here in the heartland and I'm not starting my own farm. This is not okay. What are my giant carrots? What are my cabbages? Oh no. Are these cabbages? No. Wait. Oh no! I didn't pay attention. Oh, the cabbages. Oh no. I was thinking so much about my own farm that I don't have that I didn't listen to the lady. The sugar beets? Oh my lord. Why is she stressing me like this? Don't get lazy on me. Don't be so rude, lady. Why well, I'm watering your vegetables. Of course, and now the sun is coming out and I can't see a single thing on my screen. But hey, what else is new? I want my farm. I just died to an attack that did so much damage at once. What the hell? Why are they so deadly? All right, Earth Elemental. I didn't think that I would need you, but apparently I do. So uh, come on, Mina. This time I will protect you for real. Sorry, I didn't do it before. I, uh, I I was not aware that these guys are deadly. I really can't wait to see how powerful or powerless we're gonna be on level 70 without any farming whatsoever for our cloak. Ah, remember when we pulled weeds together? I think it was like two months ago on this channel. I know you guys already explained the amazing lore of Eternus to me. Now I have another question. Why the hell is she just sitting up there on this on this mountain overseeing everything? Like is is no one going to be irritated by the fact that there is a giant dragon just sitting there that does not belong here? Like I know the Pandaren are a pretty chill people but like it's gotta confuse a few people, right? I don't care, by the way. I, I don't I don't care about this lore. It's just weird. I don't I don't like it much and I don't think it's very well written. And that's not because you explained it weirdly. That's just on Blizzard. Trust. It's not my cup of tea. Also, 
I think we have a few chests to open. Oh yeah, 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 all right. Bam, 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 bam. Also, I share your sentiment. It's a little bit too often that you have to change everything. And also, I know I already said this, but um, how could they not think of like a cool way to put all of these extra tinker slots into like a window? Like I said, like for example, the window that we had for the glyphs in Rathalos of the Lich King and moving forward. Like, wouldn't that be cool? Wouldn't that be a little bit better than whatever this is? I mean, on the other hand, they probably just put this mode together in like two weeks, so they couldn't think of everything. And again, I think this is fun. I just think it could be better. Also, did I scrap anything I still need? No, I didn't. Oh, but I have to almost suck at everything again. Ah! And also, bam, bam, bam. Give me all the haste. Ah, jeez, my haste is going down. But whatever. Let's go to Chen and help him with his family. That monkey has a range with his stupid barrels a little bit frustrating but i put a mark on him now so i don't miss him when he comes running around Alrighty, let's crash this party huh oh my god thankfully this boss isn't annoying whatsoever don't even worry about it guys my lord and we were two people mind you all right Chen, what's what's the plan? AOE now. This is something I can get behind. Is Chen touch of deathing everyone? Because it bloody looks like it. Let's hit this bamboo. I'm not really good at that, huh? All right. Let's gather all of our energy. Bam. Wow. Such a quick learner. Bam. Damn. We truly showed bamboo who's boss. This has always been one of my favorite quest chains in Mist of Pandaria. Just feels very cool to become a master of the martial arts, no matter which class you're playing this with. This old bear is throwing eggs at me, what the hell? All right, let's hit some stone, brothers. Hiya! Kapow! And another one. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Well, and even though we are not done with the Valley of the Four Winds and we're not even level 70 yet, I'm gonna end this episode right here and now because I think I've already recorded so much. I hope that you enjoyed it. I really gotta say this is more fun than I anticipated. So you're probably gonna see more of this in the next episode. And I hope you're also enjoying tagging along with me. So as always, if you enjoyed it, then please consider leaving a like or a comment. It helps and I appreciate it so much. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet, maybe consider doing that as well. And with all of that being said, see you in the next one. Bye bye.